Model, read, and write numbers from 100 to 110. Lesson 6.9. We can model, read, and write numbers that start at 100 and go on to 110. When we look at our chart, we can find the 100. It ends with a zero in the ones place, so it's going to be in this column with the other numbers that have a zero in the ones place. We can see that it's one more than 99. The, one, the 9 in the ones place became a 0, and the tens became one more. It went from a 9 to a 10. That gave us a 1, 0, and a 0, a 100. Then the next number is 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, then 110. This is 10 tens. We could say this is 10 coming down in each column. We could also say it's 10 going across in each row. But it's 10 tens. And 10 tens make 100. If we have 9 tens, let's count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine tens and we have some ones here. We have ten ones. These ten ones make a ten. That means we have nine tens and one ten. The ten ones make another ten. Nine tens and one ten is equal to ten tens and 10 tens is equal to 100. We can use the 100 chart. What number is the same as 20 ones? If we had 20 ones, we would have 2 tens and 0 ones. We'd have 20. What number is the same as 10 tens? 10 tens is equal to 100. We have 10 in each row coming across here. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tens is equal to 100. What number is the same as 6 tens and 8 ones? We could put 6 in the tens place and an 8 in the ones place. We'd have 68. We can use counters to model a number. We can write the number. Here we have 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tens that are all pushed together. We have zero ones. 10 tens is equal to 10 tens and 0 ones, 100. See? Let me fix that. Now we have 10 tens and one more. We can say we have 10 tens and one one right here. We have 101. 100. One. Here we have ten tens and two more. We have ten tens and two ones in the ones place. We have one hundred two. Here we have ten tens and nine more. Here are ten tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can push them together to make the square. Ten tens and nine more. We can write a ten and a nine in the ones place. We have one hundred nine. When we look on our chart, here's the ten tens, the one hundred, and Nine more would be 109. 
Here we have 11 tens. We can say we have 11 tens and zero ones. We have 110. 10 tens is 100, and another 10 is 110. That's 11 tens. Solve to find the number of flowers. We have one flower, or we have a vase that's full of 10 flowers. So each picture like this means 10, and each picture like this means 1. So how many flowers are here? We can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Then we have some single flowers on the side, don't we? We have 100, 101, 102, 103, 104. There are 104 flowers. What number does this show in all? We have vases with 10 flowers in them, but then we have s flowers that are separate. Some are over here, some are over here, but they're still ones, aren't they? Even if they're spread around, we still have one, two, three, four, five, six ones. How many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six ones. What number do we have? Do you know? We have 106. There's 10 tens and six ones. We can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And we can count on from 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110. Do you see how from 100 where there was a zero in the ones place, the ones place went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and after the 9, we put a zero in the ones place, and now we had a 10. See? Our next lesson is model read and write numbers from 110 to 120. That's lesson 6.10, and that's the last lesson for chapter 6. Then we're going to go on to chapter 7 and compare numbers. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.